Uh, how's it going everybody? It's about, I don't know, 10 o'clock on a Thursday. It's my day off. Um, <clears throat> I basically just want to give a review video on this EA College Football 25. Um, just give my total thoughts on it. Um, it's, this is going to be a brutal, honest opinion. I'm not going to hold back. Most of it's going to be a good, good review. So there are some kinks I don't like in this game. Uh, but I will get into that as we go uh, along. Now, I will say this game is very, very fun. It's fun. It's a switch for Madden. It's, it doesn't play like Madden, although I think they're taking this game and making it like Madden. No, I don't. Making Madden like that. They're building the new Madden like this game was built. With the gameplay, the tackling mechanics, which I don't like. The tackling mechanics in this game are not good. They're not good at all. Um, frankly, just being totally honest, you constantly miss tackles. You're having multiple tackles being broken on one play. I mean... Tackles that I should have in the backfield are not, you know, in the backfield. They're just, I don't know, you just break tack. They, the CPU, even if it's on varsity, because there's, I think, okay, so it goes freshman, varsity, varsity is like the pro, All-American, and then Heisman. I play on varsity, okay? And my defense probably gives up 35 to 40 points a game, depending on who I play. That is a problem. Defense is so hard to play, um, even on uh, varsity. And you know what? Freshman's just way too easy. It's it's not – it almost seems like varsity could be almost too much to handle. Like, there's no room for error on varsity even. So I can't imagine what Heisman is like. I, I've seen Sketch play that. On, play the game on Heisman, and he was like switching back from team to team. But yeah, this is this game's hard, especially defensively. Now offensively, it's not very, it's not that hard. Um, but it it can definitely be hard, especially if you play on All American or Heisman. Um, but I'm chilling on varsity. Um, but you could definitely tell there's a ratings gap between teams so Bama I okay so I have a, I'm a big Mizzou fan so I did a Mizzou dynasty um six um seven and two in my first year I'm about to play South Carolina in South Carolina now my two losses are for one it was like a home game against Kansas because I did a you can basically make your custom schedule um in your dynasty to start the game when you start which is cool because that's i don't think that's ever been in the game but that's a really nice feature because i put kansas and nebraska on the on the schedule and those two were both mizzou's rivals well i wouldn't say nebraska was technically a rival but they played them back in the big 12 days so um kansas was so good in this game and they're ranked, like, number one in the country. It's absolutely crazy. Like, <sighs> Kansas was so hard to try and beat. They beat me 40 to 35. Don't get me wrong. I think Kansas is going to be good this year. but And that pains me to say it as a Mizzou fan. But when you have defense in this game... And you're trying to tackle or trying to make an interception. There's no room for error. You have to almost be perfect or they're going to take it 60 yards of the house. There's no, there's no, I'm going to stop them for maybe a 15 yard gain. It's either they gain five yards on a run and then they gain two yards and then they get the first down on third down. Or what will happen is, you stop them on first and second down, maybe get them into a third and 12, and they pass it to a wide-open receiver for a first down. Like, 
That's happened to me so many times. I've gotten him in a third and long, third and manageable for my defense. And it has just not gone well. Like, I feel like the pass rush is non-existent uh, for this game. And it's kind of weird. Because my my defense is not getting it, generating any pass rush. But their whole, whole team is just plowing through my offensive line. It, I don't know. Because Mizzou's defense is, should be good. But uh, we also don't have a lot of our uh, main players on the defense. So I, I don't even know. Like Joseph Charleston ain't on there. Williams to win areas and on there. Um, they have like a Blylock or Blaylock as their, what was it, left end or whatever. And they have, uh, well, they have uh, Johnny Walker as their right end. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, they've got, they don't even have every linebacker, but like all the, all the safeties on Mizzou are like, auto-generated players. So I'm just hoping that they have another roster update soon and these guys opt in because I really want Mizzou's defense to be in tip-top shape. Um, but, yeah, the tackling in this game is just not – it's not great. You cannot – I don't, you almost have to hit stick them every time for it to be a good tackle. Like, it, it's just bad. Like, that's the one complaint I have in this game. Other than that, this game is so much fun. It's so much fun, man. I mean, I love it. I've, I had gotten this, well, no, maybe a week. Yeah, yeah, a week, a week today I've had it. I've probably put 20 hours on it already. Like, I was begging EA. I was heartbroken after 2013, after they were not going to make another one. I was like... Every year, just get my hopes up. Please, God EA, please, God EA, come out with a, a new college football game. Please. And uh, it took them a long time. I was 10 years old when the last one before this one came out, uh, when NCAA 14 came out. I was 10 years old. I am 21 now and a legal age to drink. Uh... It's just crazy, but you know what? Better late than never. You know what? That's all I'm going to say. Uh, other than that, I think the mechanics in this game, is they're a lot smoother. It almost feels like it relies on physics more. Um, but the offensive line, it just like, no matter what offensive line you're using, is just terrible. <laughs> like, I really like the running mechanics. You almost see it seems a lot more fluid the spin move is back yes that's the one thing i wanted to touch on too the spin move is almost overpowered like and it's so much fun to use because the spin move was taken out of the game for madden at least for the longest time it was not uh, well a lot of people just resorted to using the juke move because a lot of the times in Madden if you use a spin move you would fumble a lot um you would do that too for the juke but a lot less for the juke than you would with the spin um but yeah this game is ultra fun I'm having so much fun it's just it's just finally nice to have another football game other than Madden and what better one to have than a college football one and finally have real players um it's just so much fun man i i've played a couple i played three online games both all against my friends but dynasty is fun road to glory even though you don't start in high school is fun that's the one thing i was really disappointed about is that you don't play in high school but the other thing too is the high school process in ncaa 14 almost took too long it actually did take too long because even the minimum amount of games were like six or eight and uh yeah like six seven eight yeah and it would 
it would take so long for you to just go through that whole season and then playoffs and then but you also like you, you would get offers from Bama after like your first or second game like there was no really progression in that there's not really progression in this but the cool thing about this is as opposed to NCAA 14 is you will you can go to basically any school you can commit to any school right but you're gonna basically go off of need and and you know you're gonna to have to start lower on the depth chart. Let's say if you, you know, you start out as a five star or you start out as a two star. Cause I I started out as a five star, and I went to Mizzou as a quarterback. Um, I'm in my second year, sophomore year, but, um, you know, five star you're gonna be upper, up more on the depth chart. You're probably going to start earlier unless you're a quarterback and you go to a team with a sample starter. Now, I think you could choose five-star, four-star, three-star, and two-star. Um, I forget what they're actually called, but... Yeah, and there's the cool thing about this is that I don't think was in Road to Glory was um, the GPA. You got to focus on the GPA, focus on studying, um focus on the NIL. Obviously, the NIL is new. They didn't have the NIL back in 2013 when NCAA 14 came out. Um, the other cool thing is uh, upgrading your player. It, it takes a while, actually, because you have to garner skill points. So, it, mm, it's a lot different than NCAA 14. Uh, I will tell you this, there are some crazy names for recruits in um in Dynasty when you're recruiting. <clears throat> like there's a guy with the last like Amari Gooch. <laughs> like I, I can't say that last name with a straight face, man. It's just crazy. Like apparently some guy had like a like Jeff Epstein in the game as an auto generated recruit. Like that's crazy. It's kind of crazy, but kind of funny to me. Um, but again, this is a great game. If you like college football, you'll obviously love this game. Honestly, I think this is way better than Madden. Now, if they make Madden like this game, I will happily play Madden a lot again. But it, this is a nice change of pace. It's a lot better than Madden and plays a lot better than Madden. Plays a lot smoother. It's a lot more fun. It's a lot more fast paced. Um, like there, there's a lot of scoring in this game. Not a lot of defense at all. Like I said, but it's just an overall fun game, man. Like I give it a ten out of ten, five stars out of five stars, and um, I just like if Madden would just take what they did with this game and incorporate it into Madden. Like, Madden would just be so much better off if they would do that. But, who knows? It's EA. Uh, I mean, I'm just glad it's back, dude. I, I've i waited for this game for so long. And uh, I'm just glad it's finally back. I mean... You know, I'm a huge college football fan, and for it to be back, like, it's just, it's just, the honestly, the best thing that happened to me this year is this game. <laughs> and, that's, and that's saying something, because, what, uh, I've had this to look forward to, the Deadpool and Wolverine movie to look forward to. Other than that, not really that many big things this year, but this is the biggest thing. And boy, this game did deliver. Um, it's a great game. Again, if you like college football, pick it up immediately. I don't know what you're doing, because if you love college football and you don't have this game, because I've literally seen people that have literally just bought the PS5, Xbox Series X, specifically for this game not because they don't like other video games 
because they I know people love video games, but there are people who don't have a PS5 or an Xbox Series X that are picking up the newer generation consoles just to play this game. That's the effect. That's the College Football 25 effect. But we're uh, I'm going to wrap this up soon. Uh, probably really now because we're at 15 minutes, but, um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think about college football 25. I, I'm going to probably do a few more, uh, actually probably a lot more college football 25 videos because I am just addicted to this game. It's like, it's like my newborn child. Like I, I just take care of it. It's my baby, <laughs> you know, but anyways, I'm going to get back to Cruden. On uh, NCAA 15 or 25, Jesus. Man, NCAA 14's got me messed up. I honestly shouldn't have given that away now that I think about it. Because NCAA 14 is honestly probably going to lose value. But at one point, it was like $100. But I probably should have sold it, to be honest. But anyways, hope you guys have a good one. And, uh... Have a good day, okay? M-I-Z to all you Mizzou fans out there.